The Nigerian workers in their hundreds stormed the National Assembly complex in Abuja, demanding the withdrawal of a bill that would remove the national minimum wage from the exclusive to the concurrent legislative list. About a fortnight ago, the House of Representatives introduced a bill which, according to the sponsor, Garba Mohammed, would allow both the federal and state governments to freely negotiate the minimum wage with their workers in line with the national federal system. The protesting workers say this move does not work in their favor. Stressing that it is an attempt by some state governors and members of the National Assembly to shortchange them. The workers, under the edges of the Nigerian Labour Congress and its affiliates, forced their way through the gate of the National Assembly despite attempts by security personnel to stop them. The issue of the minimum wage is about protecting the most vulnerable worker from exploitation and making sure that employers and government don't pay slave wages. So, therefore, what they wanted to do. Once you remove that bar of having a national ceiling of what cannot be paid as a wage, they will then go back and pay slave wages. State that have refused to pay the minimum wage, state that have refused to pay salaries on time and owing backlog of salaries. When they are given power to decide what they are going to pay in their state, it means it's going to be a total issues. It's going to be a total problem for Nigerian workers. And before it happens, that is why we are here to lay the protest that that bill must be killed immediately or we go on strike. We are not happy at all. We have our children and our, our needs too. Eh? 30, uh, they, they collect a uh, wardrobe allowance. So many money they collected on their own heads here. Yeah. Nobody deprived them from that. But we, they are suffering us in so many angles. Why? What have we done? No. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has given clarification to the Nigeria Labour Congress that the proposed minimum wage bill is only a proposal that must pass through several stages before becoming a law. Leader of the House, Al Hassan Doguwa, further reiterated that the bill must pass through a public hearing in order to listen to the views of all stakeholders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.